Wow, these guys are so aggressive. I mean, that fish showed up out of nowhere and was insanely aggressive. There we go, there we go. Here he is, here he is. He's on me, he's on me. Let's see if he wants it. He's gonna swing around, he's gonna come right back up and eat. Fish on. There we go. Welcome back to another Minnesota ice fishing video. Today we're set up on a really small lake here in southern Minnesota. Our primary target today is trout. This lake we're on has some huge drop-offs that hold a ton of trout. And we're going to be primarily targeting rainbows, but I know there's a lot of big brooks in here. I've seen some 16 to 20 inch brooks get pulled out of this small little pond slash lake. It's probably less than 20 acres. It is super, super small, but it gets hit hard lots of people out here today we probably got about 70 to 80 people out but we're gonna catch some fish we're gonna have a fun video i'm gonna be dropping down a few different baits here to start out but it should be a good day as always we got a live scope i'm gonna use that to try to find some fish maybe find a few schools of rainbows and we're just gonna whole hop the whole entire day fishing new holes as always new videos every monday wednesday friday at 11. stay tuned for some tips and tricks throughout the video and let's get fishing the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to find a school of these fish here i'm gonna drill down and see if I can find a school of them, because I'm guessing these trout are gonna be schooling here. Okay, there's not much ice here at all, wow. I was expecting more than maybe four inches. Two fish, 25 feet, that direction right there. There's two fish, let's go get them. Looks like someone's, oh, these holes are already open. Oh, I'm gonna drill one right next to it. Actually, I don't actually need to. I'm gonna put the live scope down. We should be pretty shallow right here. I would guess. It's a big enough hole where it should be fine. Oh, we're, how, we're really still in 14 big fish right there. Big fish. We're still a lot deeper than I thought we were gonna be. Oh, that guy just showed up out of nowhere. Look at this, here he comes, here he comes. Fish on, right away, fish on. As soon as we drop down, that's what I like to see. As soon as we drop down, we got smacked by a bow. That is awesome. That is, did not take long at all. I think these fish are shallow. 14 feet of water seems to be the ticket here. I mean, look at that guy. What an absolute beautiful fish. She's gonna go right back in the water and we're gonna catch some more. I know there's a lot of big brooks in here. I'm gonna use my forward view to try to find some bigger fish, but for now, I'm just gonna keep jigging up these trout and maybe one of them will be a brook. All right, guys, let's get back down here. This is some really shallow ice. I mean, we're on about inch and a half right here. Super, super shallow, but that's all right. That is not a problem for me. I've fished on thinner ice than this. I'm thinking we might have to be doing a little bit of moving. Catch one out of each hole and move on to the next one. Nice drop off here though. I really, really like it. I'm gonna give it five more minutes and we're gonna move around this whole entire edge here. Really nice drop off, goes super shallow. I think I'm just gonna work the whole area. We were on some super thin ice though, I mean, wow. Yeah, but that's always always the way to do it. Give it a little bit, see if another trout comes through, otherwise we're moving. Let's drop over here. I can hear it cracking already. We're in four feet of water. We are a little bit shallower than I was kind of going for, but I can always move deeper. Let's try this really shallow water real quick. There is not much ice. That's the only thing. All right, let's, uh, let's move out a little bit and try a little bit deeper here. Four feet might be too shallow. Let's try to find a happy medium, maybe around 10 feet. Let's see if that works. Okay, we didn't really move too much Eight feet, ah, oh, interesting. Okay, I'll try eight feet for a little bit. I thought it'd be a little bit deeper here. Cause that right there is 15. All right, interesting. Oh, look at that guy right there. He's on it, he's on it. Oh, here we go, here he is, here he is. Good fish too. Come on, smack it. He hit it, he hit it. Come on, come back, come back. Good fish, no. He's back, he's back. What is he doing? Man, that was a good mark that just came through. 
I thought he was going to smack it. He gave it a little tap, but didn't eat it. Oh, there's a fish right there. Come on. Get in here. Get in here. Swing back around. There we go. There we go. He likes it when it's moving. Got him. There we go. It's a little bow. I can just tell by its fight. Yep. Another bow. That's awesome. I mean, it's so fun watching them eat on live scope. They come right in. They're really liking the wax worms. I might have to start using them. I don't have too many, but I do have a few waxies that we can use. Beautiful, beautiful fish. She's going to go right back in the water. I mean, these bows are absolutely gorgeous. We're going to keep fishing, and uh, I think I'm going to switch to waxies for a little bit, see how that works. All right, let's see if another one comes through here. These fish are awesome. I mean, I love it. I love catching aggressive fish, and trout are so aggressive. You can just tell by their fight. When they start going like this, I know it's a little rainbow. All right, let's see if another one comes through. Man, this is awesome. I was not expecting it to be this good. We've been here 15, 20 minutes, and we've caught two so far. And I know this is just the beginning. All right, let's catch some more. I'm hoping to see those really big, thick marks. Bigger rainbow or a brook trout to come through. Because that's my ideal goal, would be a nice brookie. We'll see here. Let's jig this thing around. If we don't get anything in five minutes, we're either just gonna move to a random hole and try again, or we're gonna use forward view to try to find some fish. I know for a fact throughout the day, I will be using forward view because that is the best way to catch big fish. I'll be able to see where they are and how big they are. So right now I'm just gonna kinda chill back, see if anything comes in here to eight feet of water. And then maybe later I can use forward view. But if the fish are gonna come to me, I don't need to come to them. They're doing all the work to find my bait. I don't need to chase them right now. But when it comes to it, after I catch a bunch of these little bows, I think I'm going to target some bigger fish and try to find those really big marks that are moving. The good thing about trout is they're usually suspended at least a little bit off the bottom. They're not like walleye. They're a little bit higher up, so it's easier to find them, which makes this a lot, a lot easier. I think there's a nice little weed edge drop off here. It kind of comes in like this because that's five feet. This is seven feet. And that right there is 17 feet and it's closer in. So I think it's a little bit of a drop off coming in here which is, is good. I mean, these weeds drop offs, the fish like it. Should be a really, really good day today. Just making sure my bobber doesn't go down while I'm not looking. I got a pretty big fat head on there, so I'm hoping for something big right there. Let's see if they want these, these waxies here. I do got some Euro larvae. I'll see if that works. What I'm thinking is these trout might get a little bit finicky, a little spooked easily, especially in shallow water. And when there's, oh, that's a fish right there. I just missed him, just missed him. He gave it a little tap and I missed him. How are we doing today? That's awesome. Gets a little bit more thin back here. I can. <sighs> yeah, there's less than three right here. Yeah, it's 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 safe enough. I got no problem with it. Fishing license? Yeah. Got it. Trout stamp, resident lifetime. That's both from there for you. Anything worth keeping today so far? I don't keep fish. No? Nope, I just do it for filming and yeah. educational purposes. Yep. How many have you caught today? I've been here for about 30 minutes. I've caught three, or two actually. No, I missed one. Yeah, yeah just trout. I'm looking for the brookies. Yeah. I got a question. So, can you even keep them out of season here? I don't keep fish in general, but um, like, what is the laws yeah, for this, this lake? Yeah, this lake's open year round. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I did the research before I came out here. I drove about two hours. Okay. But, yeah, so people can keep trout here out of season? Like well, this, like yeah, how does this these, one? Some of these lakes are open year round. So I know that. I didn't know what the keeping like. Interesting. You know, I didn't know that. I mean, the stream, the stream trout, and the streams are closed season or catch and release now. But yeah. You know, so yeah, they don't. This one is just stocked, you know. And yeah, we'll be safe out there, and good right, luck. You, you have a great day, sir. All right, back to jig, and I think we're gonna move here in a little bit. Drop this guy in the water here. Wow, there's a lot of water right here. And 22 feet. We were actually a little bit deeper than I thought we were gonna be. Okay. I moved closer to shore, ended up getting deeper. That'll happen. Give it a few seconds to switch back to down. Oh, look at this guy coming through. Higher up in the water column, I wonder if I can get up to him quick enough. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, you, nope, he's swinging. He's turning around, is he gonna come through? It's a good mark. 
Nope. Might be another one though, oh yeah. This guy's coming in pretty hot here. I'm gonna see if he smacks it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna let a dead stick. Fish on. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a little bit nicer too. There we go. No, it's stuck on my deucer. It's a little nicer. Giving me a good fight here. Oh, it's not too much nicer, just a better fight. This guy was a little higher up in the water column. Most of the ones I've seen have been farther down, but she was just a tad bit higher up. Gave me a good fight. Yeah, awesome. Show you guys this guy for just a quick second here. Here she is, guys. Nice little bow. They're all about the same size. I'm hoping to find those little bit bigger ones. Get her back in the water. Let's catch some more. Let's get her drop back down here. Those guys were a little bit higher suspended than what I was kind of expecting. Most of these fish aren't suspended that high up in the water column. I think these fish are coming from shallow. That's why they're so high up. They're coming from five, six feet of water, probably about 30 feet behind me. And then they're sticking to that depth. They're not going downward. They're just sticking to that high depth. So I actually, I'm going to hit a little bit behind us right here. I'm going to go back to some a little bit shallower water and see if that's any better. Cause I think these fish are coming off that drop off and just going straight out. So that's why they're so suspended here. Let's see, let's go fish a little bit shallower. I'm gonna give it two minutes at this spot. If anything else comes through, we'll catch them. Otherwise, we're gonna go back there. All right, let's go shallow, guys. I'm gonna get back here. I'm gonna try a little bit shallower, see if I can get any luck. All right, let's move. All right, should be pretty shallow here. That's kind of what I'm guessing. 12 feet. All right, it's in forward right now. I need, it'll take a second to switch back. Okay, let's get dropped down. Let's see here. That last fish was coming from really, really shallow. So what I think I might do is I might try like seven or eight feet of water right here. Come back a little bit. How far away was that? Five feet, five feet. Yeah, why don't I try that? Get 10 feet back there. See if that makes much of a difference here. I'm kind of curious if it will or not. I'll jig around a little bit because I'd be, able, I'd be able to see the fish anyway on this, so. The underwater camera would have been nice to bring, especially with this clear water. Wow, these guys are so aggressive. I mean, that fish showed up out of nowhere and was insanely aggressive. There we go, there we go. Here he is, here he is. He's on me, he's on me. Let's see if he wants it. He's gonna swing around, he's gonna come right back up and eat. Fish on. There we go. It's a little rainbow, I can just tell. Yep, just a little bow here. Oh, man, I'm going for these big ones. I keep getting these tiny little bows, but that's all right, they're fun to catch. I mean, they're all the same size. She's just gonna go right back in the water. She is just a tiny little guy. Go on, buddy, there you go. I don't wanna have her out of the water for too long. Just a baby. We're gonna drop back down though. Some of these marks I'm seeing are really, really nice. We just gotta get them to eat, that's the thing. I mean, they're coming through right here. It's a good transition point. I mean, it's a drop off. The fish like it. It's really nice. So we're gonna, we're gonna see here. See if any more wanna come through. Otherwise, we're gonna move a little bit deeper. I'm gonna give it five minutes more and we're gonna move. There is quite the high amount of people out here today, but I'm not seeing anybody bringing in fish. That's the problem. But everyone's sit, sitting in one spot. I would say 90% of the people suspended high fish right here. 90% of the people are all in that one deep hole and they're all fishing right next to each other, which isn't bad. I mean, I'm sure they're occasionally catching fish, but all sitting in one spot. It's just not the way to do it. But if they're happy, they're happy. I'm sure they're catching fish. Sure, they're having a good time. And it's probably a lot more relaxing than moving around all the time. That's for sure. Fish on the bottom coming, coming right across the bottom here. Let's see if I can pull them up. Hmm. He was just kind of sticking to bottom, I think. Don't think he wanted it anything. All right, let's try right here. It's a little deeper. Seeing if that has much effect here. It's a nice drop off too, fish already going through. Look at that guy right there. Might have spooked him by moving my bait, interesting. Fish, uh, fish in 10 feet coming down actually. Yeah, there's a lot of moving fish here. I mean, I'm sitting on a good drop off. 
really, really steep drop off. So I'm gonna see how it, how it produces here. I tilted it a little bit so I can see more flat than it is angled. We'll see if anything wants to come through. I mean, I'm, I'm looking 10 feet on each direction and we got a nice little curve to drop off it looks like. Should be really, really good. Okay, 11 feet, I like that. Drop her down here. All right, first things first, let's drop this guy back down. All right, that dead stick set up. Now I can drop down in here and jig. All right, let's see here, guys. See if there's anything, 11 feet of water. I kinda like this depth. But this guy, that's what I'm after right there. Let's see if he's hungry or if he's just moving by. Two of them, let's see. They might just be moving by. Oh, my bait over there is getting nervous. Oh, it's under, it's under, it's under. Fish on. I was moved over the wrong direction. This guy took it down right away. I just put that dead stick down. And he came through and ate it. They're liking the minnows today. That is for sure. Grab that dead stick. There's a fat head too, not even a crappie minnow. So that's a little surprising. It's a little bit bigger bait, but I might have to try using those more often because he liked it. If he liked it, I liked it. Let's get her back in the water, guys. Whew. There she goes. I'm probably like the only person on this lake not keeping and eating the trout. Pretty sure that's about how it is right now. All right, let's keep going. Oh, I got this thing a little wet. Oh, there's a fish already under me. He's coming up, he's coming up. Here we go, here we go. Decent looking mark too. Let's see if he wants to eat. Let's see if he'll swing back around. That crappie male is getting extremely nervous. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Missed him. And that fish is gone. Took my bait too. Oh, look at this guy. There's a few of them under me right now. Here we go, here we go. Come on, turn around and grab it. I wonder if they like the Euros just as much as they, they like the Waxies. Good mark, too. It's a really good mark. Let's see if he grabs it. Is he going to swing back around? No, but this guy's... There's so many fish here. Look at this guy now. <sighs> Had to turn this heater on, warm up a little bit out here. It's getting a tad bit cold. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Come on, smack it, smack it. He's on it. He's on it. Swing back around. I know you want to, and I know you're gonna. They do the same thing. They come in, don't eat, swing around, and then they smack it. I'm thinking if another fish after this comes through, we're setting up right here. And it'd be easier to see the fish too. We kind of sight fish. I mean, it's only 10 feet of water. This guy's gonna smack it. He's on it. He's on it. Come on. Really? They keep coming through. They're just not eating it. We'll see if this guy eats. I could throw it on a dead stick and this bait. I'd like to warm up a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's, it's a tad bit cold right now. Suspended fish. Let's see if this guy wants. There's so many fish here. Why don't we just set up on them? Honestly, there's no reason not to. We might as well get this tent out here and set right up on these fish. We found a good school of them. They're coming through, look at this guy. They're coming through so crazy. So many fish. It's just so cold too. Oh, you're coming back now. As I'm trying to warm up, buddy. Just smack it, just smack it. Okay, you're gonna get put there. I'd like to set up here. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna set up right here and then warm up a little bit. And then we can get back out there. Cause I need, I need to get a little, a little bit warm here. Relax a little bit. All right. It's pretty clear here. I might set up shallower and maybe sight fish for some of these guys. Cause, oh look at this guy. Fish on me right now. Right away.
Yeah, I might sight fish some of these guys. Because I'm not going to lie. This is some extremely clear water. Look at this right here, right here. He's on me. He's right under me. Get up here and eat. He's right on that bait. All right. So I think it's snack time. Where's my drink? Where's my snack? I'm trying to eat healthy. Stop eating so much junk food. So I brought a salted nut roll. I only brought one this time. So we're, we're making progress here. That fish is on my bait right now. He's swinging her. He's swimming around that dead, that dead stick fat head right now. Yeah, my fat head's getting nervous. Yeah, he's on it. He's on it. Yep. Got him. <gasps> Look at that. Smacked the dead stick fat head. I think minnows is the way to go today. I, I definitely think minnows is the way to go. That was a big fat head too. Yeah, minnows might be the way to go. All right, I'll show you guys this. Another beautiful, beautiful bow there. She's gonna go right back in the water. That's awesome. I mean, I didn't even have her down for too long. I could definitely start sight fishing these guys. Like without a doubt. I got a fish coming up to this bait right here too. I'm gonna send down another, another fathead. I mean, he took it so quickly. That is awesome. These fish are aggressive. They're liking the minnows. I definitely think minnows is the way to go. I, I think minnows is the ticket for today. Everyone's using wax worms. I'm gonna use minnows. I mean, they're, they're eating the waxies, but they just, they're just so aggressive towards the minnows. That's two now in like 10 minutes. Boom, right off the bottom. Just where I want it. All right, that bait's down. We are all good. It's snack time, finally snack time. Okay, drink, take a little sip. Like I said before, One salted nut roll is all I need. It's gonna try to eat healthier these days. So I just grabbed one salted nut roll for today. Here's a salted nut roll, guys. Um, it's only one, so it can't get me that fat. It is a little bit bigger than average, but not not by too much. It's, it's gonna be a nice tasty snack for today. Yep, tastes like a salted nut roll. That's a bigger fish. Mm. Got him. Okay. Buddy, you're not a trout. What are you doing? This right here is the fish that interrupted my meal. <sighs> okay, going right back in the water. Mm. This one goes back in the water. This one doesn't. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. That was good. I'm not sure if I really made any progress on this. Mm, a little bit. It's tasty. See? Look at that. Can't get that if I didn't even eat a quarter of it. Oh, that went all the way through. Mm, mm. That was a tasty salted nut roll. Ooh. All right, I'm feeling like getting back out on the move. It's 3.20, usually at sunset or a little before the bite's gonna turn off. A lot of these trout lakes, that's how it is. So I think when we get back out there, we chase after some more fish and give it another hour. I don't even know if I wanna use forward view to chase them. I might just kinda, I'm catching fish no matter where I go. So I might just kinda relax a little bit and uh, Catch a few here. With the wax worm, we've got this tiny little Acme hammered jig. And there's a fish on my dead stick right there, as you guys can see. That is what we've been using with the wax worm. And for minnows, we got our crappie minnows and fatheads on this tiny little spoon here. It is another Acme product. It is the Acme Rattle Master. The color is Glow Bloody Bug. It's my go-to bait for catching just about anything. It honestly catches whatever fish I want to target. 
It's my favorite versatile bait there. The color is Glow Bloody Bug. It's a 1 8 ounce spoon. I got all my tackle linked down below if you guys are looking to get some amazing tackle. That is going to catch you some fish. I'm looking at my graph right now and it is kind of shallow. I just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see anything. I know as a fact these fish are going to be coming into like five, six feet of water. So I don't think I'd have a problem. But honestly, I'm, I'm a little skeptical if I'm going to be able to see anything here. I'm going to wait till about 4.30. If I don't see anything by 4.30, I think we're going to call it a video. I want to get out of here pretty reasonably early before everybody else. We'll see. Because maybe we'll see something really, really soon here. But who knows? We're going to find out. Let's see if they want to eat. Oh, that's a big fish to our right there. Look at them. They're on it. They're on it. They're on it. Smack it. Got him. Got him. All right, another one here, guys. Look at this guy. This is bigger than uh, some of the other ones we've been catching here. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Probably about 13 inches. I mean, look at her. She is absolutely gorgeous. She's going to go right back in the water. Got a nice release there, and she is back in the water safe and sound. That's awesome. Let's catch some more. All right, yeah, the bites definitely died down a lot. We're gonna head out of here. As I said before, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11. I'm gonna get out of here because it's starting to get a little bit dark. It's 5.18 already, the sun's went down. I am, uh, I'm trying to get out of here and make my way back to my nice warm truck. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.